first of all, one of the most funny things about that movie, Sorcerer, which is a great film. It's a re William Friedkin film. And I think it was a remake of Wages of Fear. So once again, they have this, they're paid this ridiculous sum of money to drive a truck full of nitroglycerin to put out an oil well fire in the middle of a very, very dangerous jungle. So this is a, a, the ultimate shortfall movie. Any minor mistake causes these trucks to blow up. Um, I don't want to give it too, up, too much away, but one of the most beloved, <laughs> you know, long story short, they go through this, they're, they're driving through these monsoons and there's these terrible storms, and these rickety bridges, and one of the most beloved characters is able to survive all of this. And then he's driving and they make it through all the difficult times and it's a tiny pothole on the side of the road that causes their truck to explode, explode and kill one of the beloved Give characters. Give it away now. So, so who knows what the thing, it might be something that is just completely random. Um, uh, the share buyback thing is fascinating because you know I've done a lot of research on this. I don't think people realize how much the low vol environment has been affected uh, by the share buyback phenomenon. If we put some numbers to share buybacks, four trillion dollars worth of share buybacks. Um, there's going to be over 800 billion dollars this year. One of the things that caused the market to rebound so quickly in February was that we had up approximately 200 billion dollars worth of share buybacks and accelerated share buybacks come online. Completely, it was the the, really the buyer that kept the market afloat. Um, that's more share buybacks in two months than we had in all of 2009.